Carolyn with Hollywood First Look, and today I'm chatting with Emily Mortimer about her directorial debut, The Pursuit of Love. Let's take a first look. Linda Radlett was not only my favorite cousin, but then, and for many years, my favorite human being. They always have boring old me. <laughs> Fanny, I am going to drag you out of this place forever. <laughs> They have everything they will ever need here. Why would they want to leave? I want to escape and have fun and wear high heels and be Is life only about love? Yes! Whoever invented love ought to be shot. We came into the world. <laughs> Linda was a plum ripe for the plucking. The tree had been shaken. Don't despair. No, you just ache for life to be exciting. I'd like to observe exciting things. God! What? Don't be scared, Matthew, darling. Moti is almost completely domesticated. Much like you. I can see the love and the creativity that you put into this project. And you were already familiar with Nancy Mitford's work and the Daughters of the Mitford family. Talk to me about the sense of responsibility you felt adapting, you know, to be able to do justice by Nancy's work. Yes, it was a big sense of responsibility. I felt like I wanted it to be, I wanted the experience of watching the show to be as kind of, if possible, as exciting and kind of uh, as much of a treat um, as it was to read the book and also to feel forgiven in the same way. I felt very forgiven reading the book. I wanted that to be the experience of watching the show. I wanted, there's a there's a kind of um, a punk rock soul to the book. I wanted that to be part of the show. There's a wicked humor and um, a kind of a feeling of like, it's, it, it's, a lot of it is about female friendship, but also a lot of it is about romantic love and it kind of satirizes romantic love as well as celebrating it. And I wanted that to come across too. I wanted to be a, like a celebration of sort of sex and romance and love, and but also like laughing at all that and the absurdity of, of, of romance and, and what does it all mean? And it's pointless in the end, really, probably, but still, what would life be without it? Lily James and Emily Beecham as Linda and Fanny, I fell in love with these two characters and their performances were spot on. And I'd love to know what it was particularly about these two that you saw early on that you said, these are my ladies. <laughs> well, I don't think anyone could have, have played either of those parts better than them. Lily to me is, has got, and there are very few actresses that, that would have the kind of, she's got such depth of emotion and such intense kind of strength and power as, a, as an actress. And she's also got incredible fun, comic timing. She's really passionate as a person. She's, she's all love and all instinct. And yet she's also very kind of, meticulous in the way that she approaches her work and I think she's just like one of the great actors and same with Emily and Emily is very um is, is, is a really instinctive actress and I think she's got incredible comic chops both of them have and they're like they're very different people and they're very different actors but their chemistry together was really knockout and really once I'd cast those two I knew that half my job was was done well, Emily, I am out of time again. Brilliant job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you liked The Pursuit of Love is streaming on Amazon Prime now. This is Carolyn, and I'll see you next time. You live through my wasted day. Linda, she is an intensely romantic character, which is fatal for a woman. What am I, Davy? You're you, Fanny. You'll be all right. You can't start a life with someone based only on romance and excitement. If you don't draw the line somewhere, nothing will ever be enough. I don't want just enough. Let's hope women can decide who they are, irrespective of who they marry. Do you ever feel like half of who you are is stuffed into a suitcase and slowly suffocating? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you.
I see trouble ahead. War is inevitable. And I'm lost without you finding them. It's not here that's home. It's always been you. Whatever happens, I shall always be on your side.